Okay, in this example, we want to find uh, the specific delta value such that the absolute value of the distance between f of x and l is going to be strictly less than 0.01. Uh, whenever we have the condition that the absolute value of x minus c less than delta, uh, given that the limit uh, of 3x plus 2 as x approaches 2 is equal to 8. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the uh, looking at the difference, the absolute value of the difference between the function and the limit. Okay, so in this case, uh, c, okay, our c value is equal to 2. Okay, we have our function and we have our limit here. Okay, our limit. Okay, so we start with this, uh, so we're going to start with this part, okay, and then we're going to work backwards, okay, to get a value of delta, okay. Uh, so, and by the way, our epsilon value, okay, for this problem is given as 0 0.01, okay, and again, this is all directly coming from the formal definition of the limit, okay. So we're going to start with f of x minus l less than epsilon. Okay. So we have that uh, our function is 3x plus 2 minus l, which is 8 less than epsilon. Okay. So now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to try and we're going to try and get the form of, okay, so we want to get the form of x minus c less than delta, okay? So we want to get the form of x minus c, okay, less than delta. Okay, so once we get into this form, then we can identify the corresponding delta value, and that will be our solution. Okay, so we have 3x, okay, so we can go ahead and simplify 3x plus 2 minus 8. That's going to leave us with 3x minus 6, less than 0 0.01, okay. So now from here, we can go ahead and factor out a 3, Okay, so there's the x minus 2, okay, remember c is 2, okay, so then we can go ahead and take out the, um, we can just go ahead and take out the 3 from the absolute value, and that's fine, that is a property, okay, all right, so now we have that the absolute value of x minus 2 is going to be less than 0 0.01 divided by 3. Okay, and that is approximately 0 0.0, let's see, 0 0.0033, okay. All right, so this is what we want our delta value to be, okay. So delta is equal to 0 0.0033, okay. All right, so let, let me show you what this means now, graphically. So this is what we have. Um, I think I'll do that up here. This is graphically what's going on. Okay, so we have a linear function here of 3x, what was it, 3x minus 2, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and graph that. Okay, so 3x, uh, not 3x plus 2, okay, so that means, okay, we have something like this, let's see. So here's our function, okay, it's my x, it's my y-axis, and 
let's say okay we have the value of 2 somewhere here okay and then when we plug that into our function okay that gives us the value of 8 okay all right so that's the limit of 3x plus 2 as x approaches 2 which gives us a value of 8 Okay, so our epsilon, our epsilon was 0 0.01. Okay, so that means up here, okay, I have right 8.01. And down here, we have 7.99. Okay, all right. So if we trace this back, okay, then this is going to provide, this is going to give us our delta neighborhood. Okay, and delta here was found to be 0 0.0033. So if we take 2 plus 0 0.0033, we get, right, we're going to get 2.0033. Okay, and then over here, okay, we have 2 minus 0 0.0033. So that comes out to be about 1.9967. Okay. All right, so that is our, right, so this is the delta neighborhood. And this is the, cores, right, this is the corresponding epsilon neighborhood. Okay. All right, so... Again, we were given epsilon, and we are able to use the formal definition of the limit to obtain the corresponding delta value. Okay, all right, and this is what it looks like, okay, pictorially. All right, so we have, right, so long here, okay, we have, oops, long here we have an epsilon, right, this is an epsilon neighborhood, okay, and this is your delta neighborhood, okay. All right.